So when you add a new script to Unity, Unity picks from a template and adds some basic functions to it. Add a new script to Unity by going to create C sharp script and let's call it test script. So you can see that it has added the using system.collection, using system.collection.generic, and using Unity Engine. And then it has replaced the class name with the script name. And then it has added the start and the update function. Now, in most of the cases, I don't use the update function, so I don't want it in my template. And almost 99% of the time, I end up deleting these two using statements. So rather than doing it every time, won't it be better if we can change the template itself? Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. To change the template, you have to go to the location where your Unity is installed. In my case, it's installed in C program files, Unity and Hub editor, then the editor version, then again editor, data, then the sources, and then script templates. So I know that this path is pretty long. I'll leave a link in the description. So once you're here, you know, the first item that you'll see is 81-C sharp script. So this is the template that we need to edit. So let's open that in Notepad. So once you open that in Notepad, you can edit it. Like I don't want these two using statements, so I can delete them. Make sure you don't remove the, these text inside the hashtags. So if you change this, then your script name will not change. And I don't want the update function, so I'm going to delete the update function. And if you don't need the start, you can delete the start also. So once that is done, if you try to save the script, in most of the cases, Windows will give you an error that it is not able to save it. If that is the case with you, then just save this file to desktop and then copy from the desktop and paste it here. The reason you will not be able to save is because Windows does not allow applications like Notepad to save a file this deep inside the program files. So it's just for security reasons in Windows. So you can just save it and then use the Windows copy paste to basically overwrite this. And if you're not able to overwrite, then that means you don't have the administrator privilege. So make sure you're using an administrator account. So once you've done that, you can just close it. So if I now go back to Unity and try to create a C sharp script, and let's call it test one. So you can see that these two using statements are not there and the update function is also not there. So you can customize it to your requirement and create a template in a way that you want. Hope this will be useful to you. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.